What's up, Quacklesteins? Today was friggin' arm day, and it was a solid arm day. I did uh, a new a new workout that I actually recorded, <laughs> so that was pretty sick. And I think I'm gonna incorporate that, dude, because it stretches out my tries, and um, it just feels good, straight up. So, I'm incorporating that to my arm workout. Other than that, all the other workouts I did, I crushed them. Got a solid pump. And all in all, just a great workout day today. I fought off this cold like it was my bitch. Um... You know, pumped myself up with vitamins, and like in two days it was gone. So I'm feeling great. Still hit the gym every day. Worked yesterday. Um, yeah, dude. Pretty solid. I see that, uh, yeah, bro, the, the followers are climbing, so... I have to be able to do this 200 uh, jump rope. And, dude, it's going to be tough, bro. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. So we'll see, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> if I could do it, dude. Like, because I'm, like, I'm still, like, heavy, bro. So, like, 
Doing 200 jump rope is like friggin' tough. What the hell? I don't know. I don't know, guys. So, I, but I am excited for that. That will be like a cool little accomplishment because I don't think I've ever done that. 200 straight, like straight. No, I don't think I've done that. So that'll be cool. I'm feeling great. Like, yeah, dude. I I definitely feel the results. Um. I, at the same time, I noticed that like I'm kind of like plateauing ish. So I don't know if I need to like have like a full rest week to like really, really like let my muscles like fully recover. Cause like, for example, like with triceps today, yeah, like I was crushing it, but like I wasn't gonna max out the whole machine like I've done in the past. Like the actually the past three workouts. Like I was like, maxing it might be a little bit too heavy. So I don't know what that means. I was just going by feel and what like at the same time like pushing myself, you know what I'm saying? And I don't think I should always like the goal should always be like maximize, make a new PR, break a record every single time you work out. Like, all right, like in, with the bike. So you think you're going to be able to consistently take off a second every single day? No. <laughs> until until it until you can freaking go like five miles in a minute like no you know what I'm saying like eventually it's it's just like your maximum bro and you just have to accept it and that's fine like I work out like for fun you know what I'm saying like I work out so I could feel good so I could feel good you know what I'm saying so like when people are like well you should you should do this you should do that blah 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 Ready? I don't. I don't care. See, look at that. Don't care. <laughs> like, I know my limit. I know my range of motion. I know like what I can and can't do. Can't do a backflip. Not gonna do a backflip. So, um, yeah. Freaking solid workout today. You know the drill, though. You know what time it is. And today is, it's actually warmer. It's actually warmer today. So I might be able to cool in the pool for longer. But I am gonna hit the hot tub for a bit. Gotta loosen my muscles. Cause bro, the compound, my compound workout that I did. Yeah, bro. It actually worked my ass, my glutes really well like that lift you know that like you know like that spot like where that the girls have like with their freaking leggings like that it's darker like that area underneath like the cheeks like that's the spot that like got targeted the most like that lift area dude and I was like oh god so yeah and I got it was it was definitely uh, from the kettlebell kettlebell, kettlebell. Uh, squat things I was doing. I call it like kettlebell thrust because it's like I squat a little bit and then I like do a thrust motion to really squeeze and tighten those glutes. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's like a recap on how like my body feels after that that uh, that series of workouts, the compound lifts. My back was fine. Remember, I, I, I thought like I tweaked my back. Nope. All the stretching and stuff I did, I think, saved my ass, bro. Because I definitely was like, oh, I might be in trouble. And boom. I just like slowed it, slowed it down and then just like did some stretches. That's another thing, dude. Like, feel your body. If you like are feeling like some like that something tweaked or something bad happened later you're not a pro you don't get paid to get hurt you don't get paid to use your body so don't hurt yourself it's that simple that's why they get paid millions of dollars you know so they could get their knee surgeries and shit you know like don't do that to yourself it's it's not even close to worth it it's not it's not you know and and you're, and at the end of the day, honestly, especially in this day and age, nobody cares. 
seriously, like, if someone, even now, some of, I hiked Mount Everest, sick. Okay. There's like a line of like thousands of those dudes. I don't care. Means nothing to me. See? And I was suffering, no oxygen, and it was da da da. Hey, you had fun. But if you're asking for my validation, you're not getting it, because I don't care. So same thing, like don't push yourself, you know what I'm saying, like to like the extreme, hoping that someone else is gonna be like, oh, you're awesome, man. Hey, if you really wanna push yourself with low oxygen and do all that, then fine. That's like an accomplishment for yourself, but it has to be for yourself. That's the moral of the story. And so for myself, I don't want to get hurt, and I don't want to be sitting around on my ass for a week in pain. Like, no. So sorry? Not sorry. Not even close to sorry. So that's not, you know, so if you feel a tweak, avoid it. Just done, work out. And I've done that. I've done that, like, not a lot, but I've done that multiple times, like, where I'm like, oh, Workouts done, dude. Oh, actually, perfect example. Um, it was actually like last week or something. I don't know if I went over it on video, but like my leg was kind of tweaked. Like something in like my glute area. I forget. It was like on my left leg, and there was something up. And I was like, I'm not even gonna kick. I'm not gonna even touch legs. I'm just gonna stretch and shit. And then eventually it like fixed itself. Like it was tweaked. I was like, up, oh, up. Oh. It was not like past the point of like, oh, I am screwed. But like, you know, there were nerve signals letting me know, like, oh, there's something up down there. Let's uh, let's take it easy. You know, and that's what I did. Listen to your body, dude. <laughs> like your body, your body. Like once you like, that's the thing too. Especially like with working out, once you like your mind and your body are like are on the same team, because that's that's actually like a big issue. Sometimes your mind and your body are not on the same team. You know, your mind will be like, "Yo, we got to do this." Your body's like, "We got to do that." You know, but once you guys are like on on the same team, that's when shit really goes down. Because your mind is like especially your subconscious, depending on when you woke up, is anywhere from, I don't know, what is it? Like one to four years old. One to four year old mind. So from Goo Goo Gaga to, if you're actually intelligent, like, you could do some more processing subconsciously. You know, that's why, like, why do you think there's ads flaring at you all the time? It's to trigger your subconscious. And the Goo Goo Gaga brains <laughs> are able to get manipulated by that. But anyway, it's just psychology 101. It's a billion dollar industry. They've done the research. They pump it to you on YouTube all the time. Clearly it works, right? So, uh, point is, once your mind, your body, same team, now you got superpowers. So, I guess that's like another message for the day. Mind, body, uh, don't tweak yourself, which kind of like goes into the mind, body thing. And, uh, yeah, I guess like hoping that this pool is not too cool for me so I could actually enjoy it instead of freezing. Because like I said, bro, I do not know how people do like the freezing no like why and like how long do they do it for like they do it for like um like it, no there's no way it's like five minutes a day it's got to be like one minute a day tops bro it's too cold and like I like <laughs> Like I said, dude, that's like, I don't know, like that has to be like a biological thing. Like you have to be like good, like fine to do that, right? Like a polar bear could like be chilling 
right? I don't think you could throw a friggin' cheetah in freezing cold water and it's gonna be fine. Its skinny ass is gonna get fucking nuked in hypothermia. It's not, no, it's not possible. Nope, no, it has zero fat, no. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know, what is it, Win Winhoff breathing? What, like breathing helps it? And plus he's also like, yeah, he's, it's not like he's super shredded either, either like, and he was like practicing that for like a while. Anyway, but I'm gonna hit the pool, I'm gonna hit the hot tub. Bing, bang, boom, and you know what time it is. It's your boy, Rex Ryder. Until tomorrow.